Today, we have a new addition to the family, and this is the Echo Show 5. So I don't want to waste no time. Let's get straight into it. So as you can see, the box comes in the signature blue, along with a picture of the Echo Show 5 to the front. Looks really sleek. To the bottom, you just have the barcode, and the features are the side here. And then we have Alexa, where you can connect your smart devices, which you have available at your home. So now I peeled open the box already, so I'm just showing you where the seal does normally be. But now we are going to open to see the device itself. As you can see, it's clearly presented at the front of the box. Easy to remove the item. And it also has a protective layer on the device to protect the screen, which is great. Right out of the box, you can see the difference between the design of the second gen and the third gen. The Gen 3 has a nice curved shape to the back and the knobs has also been updated whereas the Gen 2 had a boxy shape and the size of the item itself is even smaller. Now as we deal with the charger, this comes as a 22 watt charger which is much different to the Gen 2 which was a 15 watt charger. With that in mind, do not switch them around as you could cause damage to either item. So here's what's new. There's improved audio with greater voice clarity and deeper bass. There's now three mics instead of two, so Alexa could respond to you from up to 20 feet away. Now, they changed the processor to Amazon AZ2, which allows the screen to respond faster. With the new device, the screen itself has an infinity glass, so that means it goes straight to the edge. You could also see that it has a bevel right around the edge of the glass, which has a nice finish. In terms of the screen, it's still 5.5 like the old model and the display quality has much improved. Now as we go to the back, you can see the nice rounded shape. The buttons have also been updated resembling that of the Echo Dot. Now the first button to the left is the camera switch where you can turn it on and off for privacy. Then you have the volume buttons and you also have the mute button which illuminates when it's on. Now at the base, there is a single port just for the charger alone, but there's also an additional stand where you can get connections with a USB-C type connection port in order to put other devices to charge. Just to note, the speaker has been upgraded to a 1.75 inch speaker, which improved the audio quality as well. So now we're just waiting to start the installation process. Now we're just waiting for it to load and it is also updating seeing that this is our first time using it we just have to go through all the settings so this part may take some time as i'm trying to go through as much of it as possible so here we are dealing with the location where we'd like to put it which is in the hallway due to the fact that we can hear it both upstairs and downstairs in this house clearly and we'll be able to talk to the device without having to shout so now we're just waiting for the device to get ready before we go on to the next stage. And this one, they wanted us to select the language, which we chose English. Now we're just waiting for the network setup now. So as we identified, we now click and we are going to put in our password, which I will skip. So now it is processing. We just have to wait for the registration information. As you can see, it highlights my wife as she's the one setting it up. And now she put in her password and then we just have to do the verification code number that was sent to our device. So now the device is updating and it took us a few minutes. So I just cut it and we just went straight into the display screen. So as you can see, my wife is just the system and looking at what it is already available as you could see it highlighted that it has 320 photos already from the amazon photos but there's also pictures for different seasons nature travel as well on the system if you want to get your own design then we continue with the setup process 
So we decided to leave on the sidewalk because it boosts the Wi-Fi signal for our devices, example the camera and doorbell that are far from the router. Also, sidewalk covers up to a half mile range so it can help people that have lost their pets with GPS pet trackers. Okay, so we have almost finished the setting up process. It's just asking if we wanted to make it child friendly, which we said no for because we wanted to be able to access all the features that it have. As it highlights, it's almost done. So we should be going on to the home screen now. As you can see, it has a nice display. Due to the software update, which it is now running an Echo Ship 1.1. Now these changes make the device move much smoother, much faster in terms of response while scrolling on the screen. If you don't want to take my word for it, all you could do is just check the link in my bio and get one for yourself and see. So hope you enjoyed the information as was provided on this video. Please like and subscribe and you can even watch our previous videos and that could help our channel to grow. Bye.